And now for something completely different.
Thank you. So, we're major, um, and this is a, uh, a, a major honor for us to be able to play our first club gig here at the Maple Grove. Yeah. So, we've been playing together, we've done a few ten, uh, from Frank Kirby's 10 by 3s we're doing another one on December 4th at Bob Stop. Um, we played at his birthday party together, that was the first time we played together. Uh, but, and then we played at Negative Space Gallery um, for a third Friday event, and then we did a block party. But this is the first time that we've actually been in like a real club. So, thank you all for listening. So I like to say that, uh, you know, we, we uh, do these songs that you all know, but not the way you've heard them before. Thank you. 
This is the second time that this song has actually been played in public for people watching. Um, I started doing this for uh, my TV show, Midnight Television, um, in 1990 for the 10th anniversary of Lennon's death. And me and Paul, if you're around, and me and Paul's former bandmate, Alan Grandy, mm -hmm. um, did this as an acoustic piece, but we did it on video. So about six years ago, I did a benefit for the Bob Stop in the music settlement, and Alan was on the bill as well, and we performed it that night. And now we performed it for you guys. This is only the second time to perform live. We're doing it one more time at the Bob Stop on December 4th, um, because that's Brent Kirby's 10 by 3, the next one that, I'm, that we're playing, and that's only a few days before the performance. Anniversary, so I always pay tribute to John on that day. So, nice. so many, many years ago, um, I wrote the lyrics for a blues song that I always wanted to get music attached to. And it wasn't until me and Matt hooked up that it clicked. So I hope you like this. This is literally the first song I ever wrote.
say nothing day. I saw my soul clear as the same. Let's take a walk. Time to get a slap. You let know who you're gonna find. Yeah, you gotta run, 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 run. Take a drink too. Run, 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 run. Just do
Ready, man? Yeah. Check out the dance, motherfucker! So I hope he's, I hope he's not from there, or there, you know. Okay. Like I said, I, I, I grew up with the old original punk generation and stuff in the late 70s and early 80s. Um, and I got turned on to the heartbreakers. And no, I don't mean Tom Petty. Guitarist, and was I think one of the greatest guitarists of all time, John Thunders. And um, he uh, went through a few changes in his life. Also. He got hooked on some pretty bad shit and ultimately ended up dying in New Orleans. Some of the mysterious circumstances a year after Stuart died. And, uh, that one really hurt me because after Stick died, I was talking to Thunders and I had him write the obituary for um, for Stick and uh, never lost him. To it. So um, some of these lyrics really don't pertain. You'll see what I mean when I get there. <laughs> but uh, the sentiment is there. Don't 
So that's dedicated to all the people that I've lost in my life and to all the people that any of you may have lost in your lives as well. It's a very special song for me. Um, the first time I, I actually met him was in Detroit after a show that they had done up there. And, uh, he uh, offered to have me shoot up with him, which I took to be a great honor, even though I had to decline. But that just, he, he, he accepted me, and I thought that was a very cool thing.